From LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight. Welcome to BBN Tonight. I'm Keith Farmer. And I'm Mary Jo Perino. Tonight we're going to hear from Mark Stoops in the wake of that big Tennessee win and ahead of Saturday's matchup with Mizzou. And later, former UK tight end CJ Conrad talks about his new role for the football program. Plus, we'll hear from the voice of the Wildcats, Tom Leach. Now, Mark Stoops has offered his comments to the Big Blue Nation after that historic win in Knoxville. Eli Gain is here with more in tonight's Big Blue Story presented by Baptist Health. As Kentucky heads into Columbia this weekend, it will look to extend a current winning streak against Mizzou. The Tigers joined the SEC back in 2012, and ever since they started playing the Cats, it's been one-sided in favor of UK. You don't hear that very often, right? From the losing end of a streak to a winning end, how important is it? Here's more. Kentucky ended a 17-game losing streak in Knoxville on Saturday, routing the Vols to a tune of 34-7. Mark Stoops ends another skid for Kentucky. That losing streak was mentioned so many times last week, but it's how the media works, right? We try to find some sort of angle and soundbite to get the juices going. None of the players took the bait, saying it's just another game to them. That's what they're supposed to say. But streaks are relevant, especially if it's that long. 36 years it took for Kentucky to win in Knoxville. Now we can put it to bed. I'm glad for that, grateful for our teams and, and knocking down a lot of doors. Uh, this was another one. But again, I don't like our team inheriting, uh, you know, 20, 30 years of history. That's not on these guys. You know, we're responsible for what we've done lately. Enough about losing streaks. What about a winning streak? Kentucky faces Missouri this weekend, a program they've defeated five straight seasons. So how important even is this for the Cats to keep a winning streak alive? Is it even that big of a deal? Coach Stoops, what do you think? See, there's a perfect example. It means absolutely nothing, right? I mean, truthfully. I mean, it, it, it means nothing. Um, we have to go win this week. So, I don't even know what the streak is. Um, but, you know, this is a new staff, a new group, and I, I have no idea what it is uh, because it, it really means nothing. And Missouri is no pushover. They did beat LSU, even if you don't think it's that great of a win. There's some talent with these Tigers, and it's a team the Wildcats cannot overlook. They're getting better and better, and uh, well-coached football team, and, uh, and we expect them to, uh, again, be rested and uh, prepared for us. They probably had a few extra days. I know we all found out a little bit on Friday, um, so, um, but we'll get caught back up and looking forward to the challenge here again this week. I love the response is... The streak doesn't even matter. Who cares? And it's hilarious because we're part of the media, and this is what we want to talk about. We yeah. need content yeah. like, oh, you guys beat them five years in a row. How cool is that? How important is it to win yeah. the sixth one in a row? doesn't matter. No. Who cares? Just go out and play this year and get that win on Saturday. Listen, it mattered to break the Tennessee streak, though. <laughs> it did. It mattered to break Florida. It, it would have mattered to extend this yes. one one more for yes. sure, yes. but it is because it's the next game, That's right? That's right. <laughs> All right, Kentucky opened up as the favorite at Missouri this week. As we mentioned last night, the Cats head to Columbia on Saturday after the Georgia game was postponed by SEC scheduling changes. Mary Jo, five in a row for the Cats. So we mentioned it's important. I think that they can probably get it done again. They, this is when they have to get done, really, to be honest. Yes, they, they do. And this is a crazy season. It's a weird season. But listen, if you win, go to Harpo's. That's as long as that's still open and with and masked up, that would be a good place to go. Um, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> the Mizzou alum says. Yes. Uh, but no, they do. They do. They yes. need to win this game because... They're, right now, they're a better team. Yeah, They're a exactly. better team than Missouri. They need to win the games where they're the better team. Uh, turning to basketball, Coach Cal dropped a Twitter present for the BBN over the busy weekend. He released practice video of the basketball team with 10 new faces and talked frankly about how this group will need a lot of work to come together during a season rocked by a pandemic, not to mention getting to know each other. Right now, I'm waking up early. I'm ready to go, and I got a good team. But early on, we're not going to be an execution team. We're going to make errors. We're going to have high turnovers. We're going to miss shots we should make. But we're going to block some balls. We're going to fly up and down. We're going to do some things that will show signs of what we can be. The problem is 
we'll have the toughest non-conference schedule in the country and we could get dinged early. I just got to make sure it doesn't knock them down to where we can't build to what we're trying to do. But I'm having a ball. I'm not sure they are, but I know I am. We're also learning that the only really returning player from the rotation last year has been limited in practice. UK says Keon Brooks is, quote, being treated and evaluated daily, but sources say the injury is nothing major. Keith, this is kind of the, um, this is the blueprint every year is that's a young team. So yes, there's going to be bumps in the road. Yeah. Um, and, but they are going to block shots. And those high turnover numbers, Cal's okay with those initially because it means you're passing the ball. It means you're trying to do things. It means you're going fast. I just think it's good because they have just enough in Dante, even though he didn't play, yeah. and Keon to tell them what's to be expected, you know, after a win, after a loss, in a practice. And now they've got a talented group of freshmen. And two so two guys in Olivier Saar and Davion Mintz who yeah. have been through Huge. these battles before, which will be big. Coming up next on BBN Tonight, we'll talk with former Kentucky tight end C.J. Conrad. He's now an assistant for the Cats. Hear his take on the Tennessee win and other things when we come back.